Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Belfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. They discussed local issues aimed at enhancing the march of national action in order to guarantee the prosperity of the kingdom and its people. His Majesty the King affirmed it that the kingdom will continue adopting programs and plans to fulfill the aspirations of the people. His Majesty hailed the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, First Deputy Commander and First Deputy Prime Premier to further develop the government's action plan and adopt strategies aimed at supporting economic development. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the achievements of the Bahraini people, hailing their determination to reinforce the kingdom's pioneering position among other countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness Premier Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, also received the Ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Al Sheikh, who handed His Majesty a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, inviting Bahrain to attend the meeting of Defense Ministers of the Islamic Military Alliance to fight terrorism, which will be hosted in Riyadh next month. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Saudi monarch for his invitation, wishing the meeting and its participants success in strengthening cooperation and integration of Islamic military alliance and coordinate efforts to combat terrorism and extremism. His Majesty hailed the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the bilateral cooperation and coordination at all levels. He expressed admiration of the honorable stances of the custodian of the two holy mosques towards Bahrain and its people, noting his efforts in bolstering Bahraini-Saudi relations. His Majesty also praised the leading role of Saudi Arabia under its leadership in advancing the status and abilities of the Arab and Islamic world and defending its interests as well as its keenness on maintaining unity, security and stability in the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of royal family members, senior officials in the kingdom. Press representatives of the Council Chairman Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, members from the Council, Economic and Media Events, journalists and citizens in the presence of the former Representatives Council Chairman Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Tahrani. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, continues the development march and that the government, despite the regional and international challenges on the economic and security levels, is keen on achieving its goals of comprehensive development, noting that the effective partnership between the executive and legislative authorities supports the kingdom's advancements and increases its achievements. He stated that Bahraini people's qualities of brotherhood, acceptance of the other in terms of intellectual, religious and sectarian pluralism characterize the kingdom, adding that Bahrain will remain loyal to all who support it. The Prime Minister reiterated the government's keenness on achieving the requirements of decent living in all sectors for its citizens. His Royal Highness has hailed the role of the legislative authorities members, their support to the development march in the kingdom and their efforts of achieving Bahrain's advancement and prosperity, commending the honorable stances of the representatives and Shura Council's members in various regional and international events through defending the kingdom's security and stability and promoting the comprehensive development in the kingdom in various sectors to the world. He praised the vital role of journalists and media personnel on enlightening society and connecting it to the nation's causes.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qatabiya Palace today the newly appointed Ambassador of the United States to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Justin H. Saiburel. His Royal Highness highlighted the relations and the strategic cooperation between Bahrain and the U.S., noting that the understanding of the U.S. administration of the challenges facing the region has contributed to reinforcing the partnership between the two countries. He went on to emphasize the importance of strengthening cooperation across all levels in support of shared strategic priorities. His Royal Highness the Premier also discussed with the U.S. Ambassador the latest regional and international developments and stressed the importance of strengthening international cooperation to counter the challenges of the region, particularly terrorism. For his part, Ambassador Saberell expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness on developing the bilateral relations and affirmed his country's commitment to strengthen cooperation with the Kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa witnessed the final matches of the fourth World Mixed Martial Arts Championship hosted by the Kingdom with the participation of over 51 countries. Present were the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, and the President of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Kareth Brown. The World Mixed Martial Arts Championship is organized by BMMAF in cooperation with the Media Office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa under the supervision of the IMMAF. Sheikh Nasser honored national team player Fatma with a bronze medal after winning third place. His Highness expressed his admiration of the fighter's advanced level. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of Bahrain in hosting the competitions of Brave International Combat Week, which included the World Mixed Martial Arts Championship for Amateurs and the ninth Brave Championship. He also congratulated the leadership on Bahrain winning second place in the overall ranking. His Highness added that the Kingdom's outstanding achievement is a result of the unlimited support of the leadership to sports. Sheikh Khalid also noted Bahrain's organizational abilities. He held the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, the World MMA Championship, and his efforts to develop sports in the Kingdom. Sheikh Khalid noted the professionalism and skills of the fighters. Fighters Hamza Mohamedov and Murtada Talha won two gold medals in the final day of the championship and fighters Hussein Ayad, Abdul Manaf and Fatma Burshid won three bronze medals which contributed to Bahrain ranking second place after Sweden. Sheikh Khalid noted the wide attendance which reflects the appreciation of Bahraini youth of mixed martial arts. His Highness the Minister of Youth and the Assistant Under Secretary of Sports Affairs and Establishment of the Youth and Sports Affairs Ministry honored Bat White Weight category. Winners were His Honor Sheikh Khalid presented fighters Hamza Mohamedov and Murtada Talha with gold medals.
Brave International Combat Week rolled down its curtains, marking the conclusion of the biggest and most historic week in MMA history. The week-long competition reflects the level of progress MMA has reached in the kingdom and the region. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who introduced the concept and led the path, has led Bahrain to another great achievement, setting the bar high across the globe. Well, first of all, I, I, I wish all of the Bahrainis, inshallah, and all of the uh, GCC countries to uh, start training for MMA because when they start training for MMA and start fighting here where, where they will be so inshallah I want to see a lot of Bahrain inshallah, in that fight in its final day the fourth edition of the mixed martial arts world championship concluded a strong tournament the arena saw 14 bouts all competing for the victory titles the finals featured two participating Bahraini fighters who honored their country by their title wins I think His Highness has had the vision in terms of uh, what he sees in terms of the development of MMA in Bahrain. And I think he's done exceptionally well in terms of, you know, I mean, taking medals in this year's uh, World Championship. So I think uh, Bahrain uh, can stand up and be proud for itself in terms of its development in MMA uh, as amateur MMA. So for, for us, it's uh, great to see that, uh, you know, Bahrain are progressing and have set a benchmark in it being able to stand up with the best of the best. So. I think all in all, I think it's been a great uh, uh, event for Bahrain, it's been great for IMF and I think it's been great for all our national federations to be part of this uh, prestigious event. What we saw here is just wow. You know, you, uh, Bahrain raised the profile of uh, the standard of IMF competition. So now I think we cannot go down. So everybody who wants to bid for the World Championship has to look at Bahrain to, to, to see how they did. And because we, the level is so high and everybody is so impressed, and me, myself as a board member, I'm very, very um, happy and thankful to His Highness to, to have put this competition at this level for us. We see a lot of fighters and uh, a big team, uh, KHK, big team, and it, it's, it's putting the region um, to, to, uh, to succeed and to go more further because the team is growing. So everybody around the region wants to make as good as this team. So I think it's very good for the region. It's very good for the sport. And it's good for IMF. What happened in Bahrain is exceptional. Um, the host country is very hospitable. Um, we absolutely am we are amazed with the hospitality which we were um, received here. Everything is on very, very high level. Everything is first class service. And all our athletes are absolutely amazed and they absolutely have great, great time. So I'm hoping that the relationship between IMF and Bahrain Federation will carry on. Brave International Combat Week has not only created a platform for MMA to grow in the region, but also created international impact, reaching out to 300 athletes from 40 different nations, all competing in various weight divisions, each of which who brought to the cages high-level performances throughout the competition. Khalifa Sports City Hall sees the conclusion of the biggest week of MMA history. A week that was filled with fierce competitions, excitement and entertainment. And most of all, a week that was filled with global impact. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagub al Hamar, announced the expansion of Mazaya Social Housing Program by amending the minimum salary for the beneficiaries of the program. The ministry is currently considering accepting applicants with salaries ranging from 400 to 1,200 Bahraini dinars. This comes in implementation of the directives of the Coordination Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, to expand the program because of the benefits Mazaya provides. The minister is one of the many successful initiatives launched by the ministry in cooperation with the private sector to provide social housing for citizens. Minister Al Hamar said that 80% of the citizens who attended the discussion sessions and exhibition organized by the ministry expressed their desire to apply to the program. Mazaya attracted banks and real estate development companies as well as citizens with housing applications. Over 7,000 citizens were eligible to benefit from this housing program. 
The daughter of the Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, wife of the Minister of Royal Court, Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Al Anoud, inaugurated the Charity Dish Festival 35, organized by the Child and Motherhood Care Society, under the theme of Peace Feasts in the presence of the Society Chairwoman, Sheikh Hind bin Salman Al Khalifa, and a number of institutions and charity and women's societies. Sheikh Hind hailed the patronization of Sheikh Al Anoud, expressing gratitude to the continuous support of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to all the events related to society development and enhancing charity work. She noted that the festival reflects a positive image of Bahraini society and its cooperation to support the march of charity work. Sheikh Ahind added that a quarter of the festival will be dedicated to the model kindergarten project under the name of Sheikh Alulwa bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. In Muharraq, noting that the project remains under construction. The Ministry of Education called on all teachers from government and private schools to participate in the Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan Award for the Best Gulf Teacher. This came during a meeting between the award delegation and the officials of the Ministry of Education. The meeting reviewed the procedures taken by the Ministry after the announcement of the award, which included holding meetings with teachers. These six winning teachers will each receive an award of 1 million dirhams, and the best 30 teachers will be offered into international training courses. The award targets teachers from governments and private schools in the Gulf who have an experience of at least three years. It aims at promoting the best educational practices to develop learning outcomes. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Society of Petroleum Engineers of Bahrain branch at Babco Club Hall. In the presence of the Society Chairman, Sami Naim, the Director of the Society of Petroleum Engineers Middle East and North Africa, Khalid Zain Al Abedin, a number of CEOs, general managers, and executive managers in national oil companies. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the leadership for their support to the oil, gas, and petrochemical sector in the kingdom, hailing the declaration of the Society of Petroleum Engineers in Bahrain and the efforts exerted to gain it from national, from official authorities and wishing the Society members success. He also commended the efforts of the International Society's chairman and members, wishing them a pleasant stay in the Kingdom and success in performing their duties. The Minister praised the active programs, events, conferences and accompanying exhibitions the Society organizes in the Kingdom to develop the oil and gas sector in cooperation with other authorities. He added that the establishment of the society in Bahrain represents a vital part in organizing oil programs and events that enhance the strategy of the oil sector development. The chairman of the International Society expressed pleasure in the kingdom's establishment of a branch. The title of the presentation was The Future Role of Oil and in this presentation we discuss how we think that Maybe the supply and demand balance will change in the future. And we talked a little bit about the alternative technologies and that they're going to change the picture. And the, really the main message from the presentation is in the places like Bahrain, in the Middle East, in some other places around the world where oil industry is developed today, we need to be very efficient and continue to produce at low cost, improve the recovery and so that our industry will continue to prosper. And under the patronage of the Minister of Health, Ms. Faiqa bint Saeed Al Saleh, a ceremony was held to launch the pre-employment checkup project. This project is the latest health initiative towards achieving the government's vision of improving healthcare services. More details in this report with Mohamed Shaban. High-level officials from across government and private health facilities convened at the Crown Plaza Hotel this morning to launch the pre-employment checkup project. This initiative is the result of joint efforts between several government agencies. Uh, of course, it is a, an important project that uh, brings together the Ministry of Health, the uh, NHRA, the LMRA, the uh, IGA, 
uh, all the uh, government entities that either regulate the uh, health checks, regulate the uh, uh, expat uh, work permit and residency like the LMRA, as well as e-government who are facilitating the electronic backbone of this project. This is a very important project that concludes the all-round 360-degree services that we are giving to the private sector and to the employees. The project aims to ease the set procedures for conducting pre-employment checkups by accrediting more facilities to perform the tests and incorporating ICT technology in reporting the results. This will significantly reduce waiting time and improve the overall quality of services. This initiative comes uh, part of the outcomes of the uh, government forum uh, to uh, change the role of the government from uh, uh, delivery of the service to become uh, enabler, uh, uh, efficiency, raise the efficiency of the government services, reduce the time of delivery of the service from three months to uh, almost a week. Uh, uh, the private sector takes its role to support the government and uh, get uh, uh, the benefits of the uh, simplification and uh, efficiency of the system. The project boosts partnership with the private sector in the health field in line with the government's visions of enhancing public-private partnerships. The added facilities will significantly help alleviate the burden on government health care institutes. Of course, uh, the private uh, sector role is very important important in complementing the government role. And one of the important issue is the pre-employment uh, examination. As you know, Bahrain has already established a well-documented uh, and well-organized service, but there are some gaps where we need to cover like late appointments and late reports. So the initiative and uh, uh, the resolution that was issued from the cabinet was to uh, um, outsource these services to the private sector. Another milestone initiative and celebrated achievement for the health sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain in the name of strengthening the quality and efficiency of the services provided to the citizens and residents. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News.